97.3 City FM. Relevant Radio. Always. When I came into office and I was a deputy, and I don't want to take myself out of this, I think it's very important. We had huge overruns. We had overestimated, you know, the crude oil exports, you know, 73,000 barrels instead of 90,000. We have a huge revenue shortfall. The single spine was not completed, it was leading to strikes, you know, discordance. A lot of bad feeling. Um, utility prices and subsidy had become a huge burden on the economy. BDCs were old and they are still being old. We are actually going to clear the final amounts that's owed to them. We put these issues, we quantified them actually, and you've seen that table. So we quantified them and first in the 2013 budget as policy measures, but later into the homegrown policy, and said that within three years, and that three years was 2013 to 2016, we were going to bring down, get control of all this. The Excellency himself bought into it, single spine in particular, participated in who, as he did in Takradi. I think you would agree with me that we've achieved some modest successes there. We have cleared nearly 3 billion Ghana cities in two years of arrears. You know, we have been able to migrate all the institutions onto the single spine, you know, and there is more harmonious, you know, understanding, brainstorming. Sometimes things get to, you know, the point of boiling point, but we manage you know, to do the negotiations. One of the goals is to do the negotiations and complete them before the budget, so that everybody is setting. Labor is setting on what is due to me. Employers, remember the minimum wage, even in the private sector, are setting and all that. So those were my principal goals. In the course of doing that, we suffered setbacks. We've gone over them. Gas supply, cocoa prices, gold prices, whatever. We revised the package and went you know, to cabinet. Cabinet in its wisdom and the president established advisory committee, you know, and led by the vice president, went to Senchi to brainstorm over the challenges that we're facing. We agreed that we'll do a fund program. So in relation to the uh, challenges, my goal was to quantify them. To stop the rot, essentially, as you say. Well, in, in, in. yes, my goal was to quantify and to come to some terms. So if at the end of 2016, I would have brought down, for example, the deficit, which was a big issue, you know, streamlined and have a more harmonious, you know, uh, worker government relation and other and stop the strikes and other things. I would deem that to be, you know, a success. But I also set myself another goal, which is that I was part of the team together, which started taking the country into a lower middle income country status. And so I sat together with my team and said, what does it mean for a country to be a lower middle income country? We approached the World Bank, we approached the African Development Bank, UNDP, and the UN under the uh, UN the Transition one. for Middle Income, sorry, for Millennium Development Goals to Sustainable Development Goals. This is going to be a major agenda, you know, thanks to the push that we have, you know. But coming back home, and that's going to be part of the financing for development. And Ghana was asked to make a presentation of what does it mean to become a lower middle income country? What does it mean to see your grants, your concessional financing rate? What does it mean to go to the markets to borrow? What does it mean for you to see your ratings? What are the factors so that other countries, you know, can? But more importantly, we set ourselves, myself, myself and my team, you know, not alone, and with the support of cabinet, the office of president, to look for structural changes to the economy. 
how we borrow, how we repay. So we are saying that what did the BRIC countries in particular do right? And can we borrow from them? So we have the GIF, the Ghana Infrastructure Fund, Sinking Fund, um, you know, as in bank and those type of structures, you know, which if you look forward in the next 10 to 15, 20 years, we can strengthen, you know, and this, uh, they are not just my contribution. I must say you get a lot of suggestions, you know, when you, from private sector, like the forum, which we were talking about, and some of the suggestions and recommendations that we had from the international organizations, which I said, African Development, the World Bank. So when it came to the fact that our debt levels were high, you know, to give two examples, and it was important for us to bring Sankofa on stream, and we couldn't support it with the sovereign guarantee, we looked to alternative instruments, which is the partial risk guarantee, which the World Bank Board is going to be implementing. Thank God, you know, it will bring on board Compact 2 and the rest. So if I have a second objective, is to at least see that this, you know, structural changes begin, you know, and then hopefully, and you saw the Petroleum Revenue Management Act that was passed, you know, before, okay, I took over as a deputy. We can see the benefits today that we are tapping on the stabilization fund to support the budget. We've never had a fund which had accumulated 500 million, nearly 500 million US dollars before to support the budget and our debt management. It's unfortunate that the crude oil prices were falling, but we have revised the strategy and we are going to, we've never had a fund since the constitution came for contingency. And we also the havoc, you know, that was uh, on there. Yes, so it tells us that we need these structures. And so this is the second objective which I would say that.